Hey guys, it's Ryan Lambert. I'm here to introduce you to Native Watercraft's new riverboat, the Slayer XC. This boat is packed with features. At the front, you'll notice a padded grab handle. You have your horizontal rod storage on either side, your paddle holder, a large hatch for your dry storage and access to the hull. Moving back, you'll see your rod stagers, and then my favorite thing, the electronic spot. This electronic spot will let you rig up your fish finder, but if you're going on a trip where you might not need it, you can quickly take it out, and we have a flush mount plate that'll give you a completely open deck. With the electronics pod, it also has a cup holder and some storage slots on the front as well. You'll notice that we have gear track running down both sides of the boat. You have your adjustable foot pegs. On the deck of the boat, it comes with the non-skid pads to keep you safe when you're standing. And then the high-low seat base. And with the high-low seat base, it's easy, quick adjustment. You have two screw knobs on each side. You can drop it down if you're gonna be hitting some moving water and you don't wanna be positioned quite so high. Uh, with our molded seat base, you can adjust it forward and backward, and it'll hold up to six Plano boxes underneath the seat. On the right-hand side of the boat, we have our cup holder, rod holder combo. You'll notice we have these slots for fish grips and pliers. On the left-hand side, you'll notice this little lever that's the skeg control, and we're gonna to get to that a little bit later. You'll also notice a molded area on either side of your seat base. What these are for is for your reels to sit in when you're using the rod tip protectors. And of course, being a sit-on-top kayak, you can't forget the scuppers. Behind the seat, you'll notice two flush mount rod holders, gear tracks running down both sides of the tank well, and a large amount of storage. Just behind that, you'll see access to the hull and the skeg through this dry storage hatch in the rear. So for you guys that like to use a drag chain when you're fishing rivers, we have these two molded slots that run down and drop out the rear of the boat when you release the rope. We have a nice flat surface to mount your power pole or micro anchor. The other two inserts will go inside this gear track on the grab handle. One feature that really sets this boat apart, when you have a retractable skeg, it'll allow you to pull that skeg up so you can get the tight turns when you're shooting through shoals, but you can drop it back down when you need to track. So that'll make this boat paddle well across flat water, but also very useful in moving water. Just behind the retractable skeg, you'll notice a replaceable skid plate. This is handy because if you're dragging your boat to and from the river, you're not damaging the hull, you can just put a new plate on. So you'll notice this boat has a wide, flat hull. It gives it great stability for standing and casting. It also makes it super maneuverable when you're going down moving water. It has enough bow rockers that you can get through some chop if you need to on the lake. In the hull, you'll notice the molded in transducer mount. I feel really fortunate to get to travel around and test out these new boats like I do. And I can't wait to get this one out on the Hulk buggy and chase some shoal bass today. So let's go.